What's up, what's up? My name is Lord Yukili Osai. I want to welcome you back to 13 Cosmic Law Astrology for some more esoteric knowledge. I'm talking about how, you know, um, how women can get pregnant at whatever age. You can be 100, you can be 500, you can be a million years old, right? You can be 40 years old, 500 years old. How women can get pregnant beyond the limitations of what doctors are saying, you know what I'm saying, in the West, all right? And this is the esoteric knowledge that the Elohim had given, you know what I'm saying, to Sarah, you know what I'm saying, when she wanted to give birth to Abraham's child when she was in her hundreds, you know what I'm saying? And she was declared barren. And it's all about this per unk right here because this is a fertility symbol. This is a representation of life, you know what I'm saying? And when the Elohim revealed this sigil to her, or this symbol, you know what I'm saying, within a month of her wearing this symbol and seeing it around her, you know what I'm saying, she was able to give birth to a child, you know what I'm saying, and, and that's how it is. And so basically, it's not a big secret. Like, you know, um, I did a video when I talked about the metaphysics of artwork and why rich people have art in their houses, right? It's because whatever whatever you, you feed your consciousness, that's what's going to seep into your subconscious mind. Like, all right, there's people right now on the planet Earth who have superhero abilities who started when they were a young kid reading comic books and having Superman posters on their walls and shit. You know what I'm saying? And all kind of superhero posters on their walls and shit. And now they actually flying. It's because the art reflected what they what they wanted, what they desire was. And them seeing it every day through their eye gate, fed their conscious mind. They stayed conscious of that ability until it finally seeped into the subconscious mind. And when it finally seeped into the subconscious mind, what happened, right, was that you know, um, what happened was that they was able to get their abilities. The subconscious mind heard the request from the conscious mind and gave it to them. You see what I'm saying? And that's the same thing with this per unk. This is the highest fertility symbol that you can possibly get. And and as I did, as I attempted to show you before, right, I got the unks on my wall. I got the unks on my wall. I got the unks on my wall. You know what I'm saying? And then, oh, I'm going to get a closer button. You can see the African, Egyptian, like, different writings, hieroglyphic writings that's on the inside of the ox. You know what I'm saying? On the inside of the ox. You know what I'm saying? And I got that on the wall. And I also got certain artwork that I'm dealing with on the walls. You know what I'm saying? Certain artwork that, that that's a representation of who I am and what I'm going through. Me and my woman on the wall. You know what I'm saying? Artwork, you know what I'm saying? Artwork, got a few plants, got a few plants, you know what I'm saying? Got my metaphysical tools up there in my shrine to honor my ancestors. You know what I'm saying? And basically, right, when it's, it's like for her, when I hugged her, I always had the unk on, I hugged her. I always had the hunk, the unk on, you know what I'm saying? And not only that, was that she always seen this symbol. She seen this symbol for a whole month. Just seeing the symbol and coming in contact with this per unk, which is one of the highest representations of um, life. And it represents immortality and it represents earth. And it also represents the cosmos. This right here represents as above, so below. You know what I'm saying? This right here. This was the first cross. So, you know, her seeing that sigil outside reflected her desires inside. And somehow seeing that fed her conscious and, 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 and her conscious mind was able to get that message and that desire of her having a baby to her subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind gave her a baby just like that. Just like that. It's like it's no big secret. It just happens just like that. You know what I'm saying? No, no big secret. It happens just like that. So, um, so, um, again, you know, um, I don't care what age you are. All right. This is coming from the Elohim. You get yourself an unk 
Fuck what them doctors is telling you. You go get yourself an onk and you you look, go to googleimages.com and print out about 25 different pages artwork on the onk, the per onk. Then print print you out some different photos of of children. Give a, a mother's giving birth to a child. And then you hang those, those that artwork up in your house. Just tape it to the wall. Like, that's what I did right here. You know what I'm saying? I just printed this out. She printed it out. You know what I'm saying? And then we just put it on the wall. We just put this shit on the wall. You know what I'm saying? That's a woman right there with some whoops and, some, and a dream catcher. You know what I'm saying? We just put it on the wall. And that's what you do. It's like, you just, you just put it on the wall, right? And then get you an unk and wear it. Go to google.com, put in unk jewelry or bulk unk jewelry. You know what I'm saying? Buy it in bulk and get the, the most bang for your butt, right? And get you an unk and wear it. You get one, she get one, y'all both wear it. I guarantee you will get pregnant. It's just, you know what I'm saying? You have to, you have, to have that image, all right? It's the reason why you go to certain people's houses and you see samurai swords on their walls and shit. Or they might collect African spears and, and face masks and wood carvings. Or, you know what I'm saying, they you know, they might have like plants and uh, fish, you know what I'm saying, or uh, uh, rifles and shit. That's all uh, external representation of what's going on inside of them right here. You know what I'm saying, they let you know that they're a warrior at heart, don't fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? You see those guns. You see, you know what I'm saying, those African spears and face masks, warrior masks. You see them samurai swords and shit. Don't fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? When a person's artwork, your decorations, how you decorate your house is a representation of how you feeling. So I did a video and I talked about you have to redecorate your house. It's summer. It's a whole new season. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a whole new season from, from spring. We're in summer. And... If you watch my video on the summer solstice ritual, you know what I'm saying, then then you know that after that ritual, it's all about planting seeds for the new harvest that's gonna come. So right now, you plant seeds, and as as we're in a new season, you know what I'm saying, it's very important for you to change and redecorate your house according to how you've ascended this far. Like right now, I reach my nephilim consciousness. You know what I'm saying? I reach my um, I reach the omni consciousness. I'm a, I'm in the omni mind. Right now, when people ask me, um, if somebody was to say, where are you? I wouldn't respond by saying, oh, I'm here. I would respond by saying, I'm everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And that's just based on the fact that I'm in my omniconscious right now. It's wherever I decide to spread my energy and evolve, that's where I'm going to evolve, period. You know what I'm saying? Astral projection. You know what I'm saying? Astral traveling. Lucid dreams. Remote vision. All of that shit. Clear, clear. Clear cognitus, all of the clears, clear vision, clear audio, <coughs> freedom, clear smelling, clear tasting, clear touching, all of the clears, clear psychic, you know what I'm saying? All of that, all of that's taking place right now, you know what I'm saying? And as I've ascended, my artwork has to reflect my ascension. My artwork has to, you know what I'm saying, mimic where I'm at right now, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I got, I got the, I got the, um, the, the noon technology, the noon pyramids, noon technology. You know what I'm saying? You see you see the gold flakes at the bottom, the amethyst, you know what I'm saying? The quartz crystal, the copper oil, the onyx, black onyx stones, you know what I'm saying? The focal point to visualize, to, to, you know what I'm saying? For your dreams and shit, the money attractor, you know what I'm saying? With the emeralds and shit, you know what I'm saying? With the rose quartz crystals, I mean with the, uh, with the copper coil right there. And the, and the rose, I mean, the, um, the quartz crystal, the green coral, you know what I'm saying, the gold flakes, the black onyx rock right there, you know what I'm saying? All of my artwork, all of my, my different metaphysical tools, my wands, my rings, you know what I'm saying? All of my seashells, my canes, all the way down to the different canes that I have, my mystery sticks that come from my country in Ghana, you know what I'm saying? All of my artwork, all of my things are a reflection of where I'm at right now, what space I am mentally. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to get pregnant, go ahead and get you, you know what I'm saying, an unk necklace. You get her unk necklace, get you an unk bracelet. Wear 
a bracelet around your wrist that have different charms of unks all around it. You know what I'm saying? And put up about 20 pictures in your house and just random places of random different art of um of the unk. Go to googleimages.com and just print up 20 different photos of the unk. You know what I'm saying? And then like 20 different mystical photos of women giving birth to a child. You know what I'm saying? And in doing that, right, you seeing that every day is going to seep into your subconscious mind and you're going to have birth. But this right here is a very fertility, you know what I'm saying, simple right here. And that's how we did it. We did it in less than a month. And, and, and she's older. You know what I'm saying? Period. So that's, that's just how it goes. So if you want to get pregnant, that's how you do it. I love you and I need you to survive and it's very very important you know what I'm saying that my soul group gets this so I do a lot for my soul group um you know what I'm saying I'm not super nigga god you know what I'm saying I'm the Elohim Nephilim you know what I'm saying I just adapted the name Elohim the Nephilim manifesto you no know, I'm, I'm manifesto you know what I'm saying I make shit manifest I'm manifesto you know what I'm saying so yeah, man, you know, um, that's my new night uh, uh light code right there. You know what I'm saying? That's the new light code right there. I'm Elohim, the Nephilim Manifesto. That's the new light code right there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, you know, um this is for you know what I'm saying, all those who want to get pregnant, spread the word around because the more you see it, the more you see it, the more you're gonna believe it, the more you're gonna feel it, the more that becomes a part of you biologically. You know what I'm saying? And then the, the faster it gets to your subconscious mind, the faster you'll receive a baby. So, Hotep and Tech My 2, I love you and I need you to survive. Until next time, Tech My Tech.